Tank Engine and Fans Australia. Here is two, episode five. Cross lines Australian made. Most of the Fat Controller's engines except the diesels. James met some that were in Australia, but wasn't sure if he gets on with them. They're all right, said Henry, just mixed traffic engines like you and me. Other mixed up engines, you mean? James grunted. They're the same as the ones in the UK. The other railway, that is, with windows at each end. How can they in Australia know if they're coming or going? Toby has two cabs, so do his brothers, who are living in Australia, said Duck, remarking. And they get on all right. His brothers are just little engines. If an engine like me didn't know which way to turn, what would the railway come to? All the engines agreed that James was becoming much too puffed up in his smoke box again. Making out he's wanting to be clean to date rabbitry, said Henry. I think it would give me a giggle. You dated Applejack, said Duck. I can't say it's a secret you'd hide away from us. Oh, we can't spoil James's day when he wants to hang out with that white pony. I think he may do it again. Exactly, agreed Henry. But who's to ask him to buy some box of chocolates for her? The engines tried all sorts of ideas to ask James, but he said no because he wasn't visiting Rabbity. What are you thinking, Henry? This is not Valentine's Day. One day, James was to shunt the Scottish twins away, helping on the seaside with wee Georgia Wood. So James had to do the work himself. James's train was a van with another. They were to be taken to Tanner. What was in them was for something in the cave of Mount Farrell. When he'd finished the shunting, he went up to the Tunnel's Mountain. A signal was put in the Farrell Quarry, and there were points as well. The day was a bit misty, and James was checking the wheels on the truck to see if they went the right way. But the fog blocked his view. It was most unfortunate that when he could see, he noticed that none of the points were switched properly. One of the burgers on the truck went the right way, but the other didn't. Stop! It squealed. But it was too late. It crashed into the signal. The blow gave it a toe, falling to the ground. That's torn it, said James's driver. The fat controller went like that. He didn't. 
He spoke severely about it, because the signal was important. Its loss was inconvenient. James knew that the accident was not his fault. He had to stay to clean up the mess. He didn't want to get teased about this again, like back on Sobor. <laughs>